What if I tell you in many cases that Go is not smart enough and that's why you're seeing this error alternate page with proper canonical tags and sometimes you can see this error duplicate Google chose different canonical than user. These both errors are very similar and because Google system is not so smart that's why you're seeing many of those errors. Not all of them but yes many of them because Google system is not smart to understand your website. But guess who's smart? You guys because you're viewers of this channel and today I'm going to show you how you can fix this error of canonical text on your website. So before I tell you how to fix these errors, first let me tell you what is canonical tag error. So these both are very similar errors. So alternate page error with proper canonical text and duplicate Google chose different canonical than user. Okay, so first let's see what is this error mean. So you can see I have this error here alternate page with proper canonical tag. I click on this, this page will open where, where we see this error. And when I scroll the page, you can see here indexing. So here you see two sections, user declared canonical and Google selected canonical. Canonical to understand you can say it's a URL. So you can see user declared URL this one, amenities and then Google selected canonical is amenities dash two. So what happens if I open these both pages on my browser? So this one is amenities page and this is amenities two page. So you can see here both these pages if I scroll the page, you have some text, images and some more sections on this page. If I look the page amenities, you can see we have the similar content on both the pages. So what's happening here? Google is preferring this URL because they both have similar content. So Google is telling us it's not going to index both the pages because there's no meaning in indexing the same content twice. So Google is indexing this page, not this one. And guys, one important thing, it can happen on different websites also. Sometimes you can have a URL of an external website. For example, if you copied some content from different website or that information is already published on different page and these pages are very similar. You can see this error of alternate pages proper canonical tag and in cases when the content is like exactly similar you will see this error duplicate Google choose different canonical than user. It means both pages contains almost similar content on both the pages. So just to make things simple both this error come when you have similar content on two pages. In case of duplicate when it's like exactly similar in alternate pages proper canonical tag when the content is very very similar. I hope you understand why this error comes. Let me show you some pages and how you can fix some canonical tag errors. So if I click here on alternate pages with proper canonical tag, you can see I have almost 2000 pages which are affected by the issue on one of my website. Okay now these are the pages which are having this issue. So I will tell you step by step which error you will see on your website and how to fix that because the pattern is very similar. These are the types of error you're gonna see in these cases. So let's solve them one by one and let me know in comments please that which error you saw on your website too and if you are able to solve those errors or not. So the first error is AMP equal to 1. So this is the error because of AMP pages. Or you can have error in case of blogger.com you can have error of M is equal to 1. Or any other technology you are using for mobile pages you can see that error. Because what happens when you use AMP for example let me show you this page this is called about us page. This page is question mark AMP is equal to 1. But both these pages have similar content. That's why we see the error for AMP pages because they got similar content. But the purpose of AMP pages is when somebody visit your website in mobile devices via Google search engine, AMP pages will be served. But as I told you, it is not so smart. It is still showing you as a duplicate page or duplicate content page. Now let me show you how you can fix this error. You can see I have this error here and error here too. In case of blogger.com, you can have this error which says question mark M is equal to one. So there are two situations to solve AMP errors. So situation one, if you're still using AMP on your website, then what do you need to do? Or in case of blogger.com, if you are using a mobile pages on your blog. So in that case, solution is really easy and solution is you don't need to do anything. Yes, it's not your fault. It's Google cannot handle. It cannot understand that they're not duplicate pages. They're just pages for different devices. So don't worry about it. You can leave it completely like this. You can see pages here. It says amp is equal to one or amp page is equal to one or it say m equal to one in case of blogger.com. So don't worry about it. Situation two, in case you used amp pages in the past but not anymore. That is the thing you need to correct. So what you need to do is hover on this URL then click here to copy or you can just select this URL and then copy this URL and then click here on removals. And now what you need to do is click on new request and then enter the URL here and then click on next. And then you'll see this URL all over variation will be blocked from Google search engine for about six months. You can cancel this request anytime and then click on submit. So what will happen because we are not using AMP anymore, but this URL was still in Google system, they will be deleted. But 
when we will crawl it after six months, they will see these pages doesn't exist on a sitemap or on our website. So we will permanently drop these pages. So it may take some time, but yes, you can remove AMP URLs like this in case you are not using AMP pages. In case you are using AMP pages, it's totally fine to see these pages here in alternate pages proper canonical tag. That is not your issue. That's something Google need to fix about the reporting or Google Search Console. And guys, before we move forward, I request you like the video and subscribe to my channel because I create these kind of useful videos which really improve your technical skills and that really help you to grow your website or your blog. And these videos take a lot of time to create because I need to research about these videos that what the best way I can deliver this to you in most short amount of time. So my focus is to create these videos to give you most information without wasting any of your time. And if you like the video and subscribe to my channel, that really boosts my morale and I'm motivated to create such more videos. And I already created so many videos about Google Search Console, analytics, SEO, website speed optimization, website security. You can check out my channel. I'm sure you'll find a lot of value on my channel. And you can also make your website much, much safer, fast and rank high in Google search engine. Okay, let's move to the tutorial. Okay, let's see second kind of pages. You will see the pages in your search console report where it says question mark add to wish list equal to one triple nine. Or you can see here V is equal to random query string. And again, V is equal to random query string. And then again here, V is equal to random query string. And then V again random query string. So what will happen when you have so many tags like this? Actually, it's again problem with Google. So Google is thinking they are pages with the same content. Actually, they are not. Let me show you what these pages are. You can relate with your website to what's happening in your website. For example, if I'm on the website where I sell this product, which is website speed consultation, and there are four variants of this product. So Google is considering this variants like separate pages, but everything else on this page, you can see here the text, the title, and that all this additional information is same. So Google is considering these links as separate pages. That's why you see all this error with, which says V equal to is random string. And when we talk about add to wish list, let me show you this example too. For example, somebody on your product page and then you have this option add to wish list. If I hover on this option, you can see in the corner bottom, there's product URL and then slash question mark add to wish list and then product ID. So what's happening is just a link. What it does if I click on this link, it will add this link to the wish list. But what's happening, Google is thinking it's a link to a page. And when we go here, we see this kind of URL as to wish list is equal to one triple line. If I go to the next page of this report, you can see I have so many pages version pages and then we add to wish list and then M pages we already discussed. So now how we can remove these pages from this report? Because I told you Google is not smart, it's considering this links as pages. So what we need to do is we need to tell Google, Google, these pages you should not be worried about. In fact, you should not crawl these pages there for my own website functions. So what we can do, how we can tell this to Google. So we're gonna to need to make some changes in the robots.txt file of your website. Log into website cPanel and then go to file manager. And then you can find this file robots.txt. Right click on this file and click on edit. And now we're gonna add this line here in the end of the page. Disallow colon slash asterisk. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the URLs we don't want Google to crawl. We're gonna disallow Google to crawl these pages from our website. So let's see what kind of page we want to stop to be crawled by Google. Go back to your search console report and then for example these pages I'll just copy this section add to wish list I'll copy this and I'll add it here what it will do all the pages which have this URL they will be blocked to crawl by Google what will happen when Google will try to crawl this page next time Google cannot crawl these pages because we're disallowing the Google and it's us we think Google do not crawl these pages so Google will not find 404 error but Google will understand that okay we do not need to all these URLs, therefore, the website internal purpose, or it can be any reason. So, we have this URL first. For example, you see any other URL on your website, you can do the same thing. You can copy this first part, which is common, in, and then you can go back to robots.txt file, and then you can write again disallow colon forward slash and then asterisk and then add this URL. So, all the pages which are add to wish list or question mark v is equal to they will be disallowed to crawl by Google. If I go to the next page, you can also see here, I have this query order by is equal to date. For example, if I go to shop page on website, you can see the URL is let's get website.com slash shop. And if I use sorting here, you can see here, if I do sort by popularity, you can see now the URL is order by popularity and the content on page is same. In that case, you can see if you're sorting the post or products on your website, you can see this error here. So what can we do again? So we can copy order by 
and then we'll go back to robot.txt file and then what we'll do next line we'll write again disallow colon forward slash asterisk and then copy order by guys check the description of this video i'm going to add this code so we can easily copy this code I will make sure there's no mistake or space because sometimes when I make tutorials, it happens that I leave some spaces or something happens. So copy the code in the description of this video and then you can add directly to your robots.txt file. In case you have a multi local website, you can also see this error of alternate page with proper canonical text. Again, it's an issue with Google. It cannot identify and make the reports based on understanding that these are the multilingual pages. For example, you have a page in English and then you have a page in Spanish. They are in different languages, but the content on the page is same. Again, it's not something you can do something about it. It's Google going to show those pages in your search console report. So don't worry about those pages. They're totally fine to be there. I think with the time, Google might fix this. Google used to have this feature where you can add parameters which are known and Google should not index those parameters. But now I think that is a legacy tool. So don't worry about those pages. And guys, we have some real pages which are showing this error like this one, amenities 1 and amenities 2. So what you need to do is, work on these pages and have different content on these pages. Do not have very similar content in two different pages. That will also going to fix the issue. Let me know guys, if you find some URL in a search console report and you don't understand how you can fix that. Just comment down the video. I answer all the comments on this channel. I will try to help you out so we can remove all this error of alternate page with proper canonical text or duplicate pages with canonical text in your search console. And guys, if you get any help from the video, please smash the like button and destroy the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Subscribing is totally free. And if you want to solve no index error in your search console account, check this video on screen. And if you want to solve error 404 in your search console account, check this other video on screen.